Hey everyone, I got a lot of questions about how it is to pilot a gyrocopter when you came from a normal aircraft pilot uh, background. So that video is dedicated to answering all those questions. Let's do this in four categories. First of all, flying, landing, takeoff and day-to-day -day operation. So let's start flying. So the first thing is that it can turn on a dime. It really can turn on itself. I'm going to demonstrate this right away. It can, it can be practical, it can, can serve uh, many use cases, but you just have to slow down and look at my speed at the top. I'm going to go to around 60 kilometers by hour, and then I'm just going to use the rudder and spin on myself like this. So I'm doing this here, I'm on the inactive side of the airport pattern. I'm doing a 180, give me a little bit loss of altitude as I was hoping for. And now I'm, I'm ready, I'm gonna pass the airport. The next nice thing about flying this is that it's always smooth right when the, we have windy uh, weather. Like this beautiful day that we're looking at right now. I was not expecting to land at Juliet Airport, it's always so busy, but I was passing by and I hear no one on the radio. Uh, I said, okay, let's let's go there and practice some uh, slow flying, slow uh, final, um, and all of that while I'm alone. And it for me, it was really smooth, but uh, I think it was quiet that day because we had a lot of gusty wind. And the wind was really unstable. A day like that in a fixed wind aircraft is kind of rock and roll, but in the gyro it's 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 smooth. It's smooth. You can feel it a little bit, but it's it's still very smooth and uh, it flies straight. The next nice flying characteristic my favorite is that you can always fly slow and you won't die <laughs> okay that sounds funny but in a fixed wind aircraft you can never never slow down or you can stall and at this altitude it's really a bad thing to stall right in a gyro you have to embrace the fact that you can always slow down so here i was forcing myself okay you can do it you won't stall you won't stall see my speed i'm going down and even then i'm not going that slow i'm still at i'm gonna go at 60 kilometers by hours uh, my engine is minimal i lose 600 feet by minute so i'm going down right it's nothing is connected on the top rudder you have to be aware that it's just like a frisbee right it's just spinning by itself so when you don't have engine, you kind of lose altitude. And then landing is coming up. So when you land, it's mandatory to be at around 100 kilometers by hour. So I'm going to have to get speed. So how do you do this? You just put your nose down like this. I'm going to get some speed and then rotation at around 100 kilometers. And you wait, 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 wait and you touch at the, around 70 kilometers by hour no brake involved here i'm just having the rotors doing its job and that's it you stopped it's how you land from outside it looked like this right since you go very slow when you touch down you kind of hold it a little bit with the uh, power to go to your, <laughs> closer to your exit and when you think you're close enough, you just got the engine, you touch down, you see it's only the back wheel. The front wheel is going to be in the air until the very last seconds. The rotor is pushing back, so that's doing the braking. No wheel brake involved, and that's it. Now you move the stick in front, you see. So the wind is going down, not in front, and you just slowly uh, roll to your uh, parking spot that's it take off now that's the big one this is the one big reason why a training is totally full mandatory for a gyro even if you have a fixed wind pilot license you cannot take off with a gyro 
until you know a lot of stuff. Uh, I will explain just the basic. I'm not a CFI, so everything here is just the basic. Everything starts removing the brake on the rudder. Then you push the auto rotation button and you wait. The RPM of the engine have to be at around 2000. You see it slowing down here. That's the clutch doing its work. The rudder start to spin. You see the rudder RPM is going up. When it's going to be around 110 for my uh, model, then I'm starting to slowly, very slowly add power. You see it 5% right now, 150 RPM, 166% of power. I'm going to do this until I reach 200 RPM. That's the pre rotation. After that, the rotor is really disconnected and it's going to forever <laughs> spin by itself for all the flight. Uh, here it is, 200 RPM, back, stick, had power slowly, the wheel, the front wheel is up now, I'm at, from there I'm not gaining altitude, I'm waiting, I'm just gaining speed and rotor RPM, and then my speed is good, I'm going up. Already here, my speed is good, I'm taking altitude, my RPM is already lowered, I'm at a thousand feet by minute. Uh, I'm gonna play with the pitch of the propeller to gain a fuel efficiency, but I'm ready to fly. Last section, day-to-day -day operation. First thing, it's really having a small anger footprint. You can have four gyro, I think, in one, two place. Fixed wind aircraft like a Cessna 150. It's a big deal. You can expect a lower cost for your anger. You see the 150 taking all the place uh, beside me. Gyros take actually less space than one car in, in the anger. Next thing, it's really simple mechanic. People don't understand that the top rotor is that simple. Like you see that gear, it's connected just when I'm doing the pre-rotation at the, v, the first one minute. After that, it's disconnected and it just spins by itself. It's like one big bearing and no uh, pitch change. It's all static pitch on, on the blade rotor, so it's just spinning by itself. So it's simple mechanic and, and the rotor itself, I think it's need maintenance every 2000 hours, so it's a, a long time. Everything is exposed, visual inspection is easy, that's it. Last thing, it's really simple to park outside. No need for tie down, it's just parking brake and here a picture to introduce my next uh, video, which is going to be all about float operation, how to take off, how to land on water, the day to day life of a gyro on float. So half of the question were that I got were all about the floats. So it's coming up. That's going to be my, my next video. Subscribe if you are interested. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.